let me share with you a tricky question from the test which validates your knowledge of pattern recognitions and logical reasoning. Which of the following comes next in the sequence? And you're presented with four squares. The fourth square has a question mark, which means that you need to figure it out. And you have four different choices. Choice A, B, C, and D. An answer is not obvious, but I'm pretty sure you will figure it out. Please give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can see the answer, or maybe you can come up to the answer. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct solution together. And here's the answer. The fourth box in the sequence is now populated. But let's go through the logic and rationale so you would know how to answer similar questions in a test. Number one tip, and always a tip, is always look for patterns. So what you see is that the figure inside rotates clockwise. If you look at the corner of the shape, you will see that the corner was on the particular side of the square. It was on the left side. Now the same corner touches the top line of the square. And then in the third box, it touches the right line of the square, which means that you can logically assume that in the following, in the fourth box, it will be touching the bottom line. There is also a pattern of arrows. You see that the box number two has the arrow pointing to the right and boxes one and three do not have this arrow. So the arrow only present in the second box. In the original question, arrow is only present in the second box. We can logically assume that it only placed in the boxes that are even. Number four box is missing, so you can logically assume that the arrow should be present in the box number four. Among the choices presented, only choice C and D are valid because only they contain the arrow. And you need to determine the final box based on the position of the shape inside the square. So the correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions in the test. And now here's the question for you to try. If you figured out the answer, please post it in the comments of this video so I can give you my feedback. Bill's phone provider charges him $18 for the first 500 texts each month, plus five cents for every text sent after that. If Bill sent 689 text messages last month, how much would his provider charge him? And you're presented with four different choices. Choice A, $25.50. Choice B, $26.25. Choice C, $27.45 and choice D, $28.95. You can pause this video and try to solve this challenge now. And if you have figured out the answer, feel free to post the answer in the comment section of this video along with your rationale so I can give you my feedback. I am also planning to post a detailed answer in my future videos, so make sure to subscribe and review my latest videos on the topic to learn about the answer and how to come up with the answers to similar questions on the test. Thanks for participating and good luck. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment tests faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have a community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.